this recording by reminding myself in the directions of what I'm supposed to be doing here. I see I've got a large indent here for getting the head one, the H1, all the paragraphs, and this little image over. And then also there's uh, some either padding or width or margin over here on the right as well. So I will start by creating a container for all of this information on my int. I'll put the div tag here, and then I'll close it. There we go. And now I'll give that div an ID. ID equals. I'll use the word container. I could use the word page, which is very common as well. Now I'm going to go to my styles and create, remember it's the hashtag that is used for ID and container. So I'll do a margin left of uh, 200 px and see what that looks like. Save and refresh. Oh, not quite enough. Let's try 300. Let me just look again. Yeah, let's try 300. I know that somewhere in here is some sort of a tool in which I could measure that image, but I'm getting used to Visual <laughs> Studio Code, so I haven't learned it yet. Save and refresh. That looks pretty good. Well, let me take bring the top down because I noticed that needs to come down too. About about a hundred pixels. Let's go back to the style and do a margin top. I'm not showing it to me right away. There it is. Margin top. And again, these can be tweaked if I need to. Pretty good. Close enough. Let's talk about getting this reined in. If I look at this, uh, this. So if it's 839 wide and I've got about 300 plus 12 here, oh my gosh, do I have to do math? I think that means my width is going to be about 300. So let's just put that in and see what it looks like. I'm just really not a mathematician. So I'll try a width of 300. Let's save and see what that looks like. Not bad. It's not bad. It might be something different. But there's a couple of ways to do this. So let's take a peek at that. Um, if I scroll down, I see that not all my stuff is showing up there. It's a little crop down there, so I'll give it some bottom margin before I go any further. Let's see. Let me put it right here. I don't know why. I just think all the margins ought to be together. I also don't know if 100 is the right amount. There we go. There's that right there. So what's another way around this if you want to try a different way of doing it? And this second way I'm going to show you is actually my preference. Uh, I, I learned this all from Valerie Green, and she knows a lot. Um, let's go back to the style. And I'm going to comment this. Oops. Yes, I am. And now I'm going to put the width on the body. And how wide do I want the body to be? Well, the thing I know most is that this, uh, where are my images? This image, which is the widest image I have, is 755 pixels wide. So that's how I want, that's how wide I want this to be. So I'm going to say 755px, and I'll just comment a little note here. Oops, let me close that and make this a comma. Uh, I'm going to put a little note here that says width of the box size, just to keep things uh, in check, so I keep things consistent. Uh, oops, no, that's not what I want. I want a semicolon here. Colon, semicolon, save, and push. So it's working pretty well. I just need to bring this in a little bit more. And I, I would advise that when you do these things, you inspect them. You know, like it's just, 
it helps you to see exactly what's going on. So I'm hovering over uh, the container and I can see the top and the left margin that I just created. If I had hovered over it at the when I had it the other way, when I had it with the width down here, let me just move this comment over here and uncomment that so you can see the difference. Save and refresh. So now if I hover over the div, you can see the huge margin on the right. Oops, I can't move my mouse. You can see the huge margin on the right. But the preference is to get the width on the body. So I'm going to take this spec out of comment and comment this. Save and refresh. So now I'll put it, I could either do padding or margin over here, margin right this time. Uh, let me go back to my styles and set up. Now you can see what I'm going to do here, right? If I set up margin right, I may as well condense that. Margin right. And I can't remember about how much I wanted. 100 px maybe? Save and refresh. That looks pretty good. So this is the preferable way. And while we're here, why don't we remember the clock, right? So you would start with the top. So what I'll do is comment this. I really love commenting things so I can leave the code in there so that you can see. And then I'll just type the shortened margin. And then I'm going to start with top, 100px, skip a space, and then do the right, 100px, skip a space, and do the bottom, 100px, skip a space, and the margin top, no, the margin left, 300, that's the big one. And semicolon, so save and refresh, should look the same. Let me close this. Oh, let me come up here and take care of this little straggler. Do a save. There. So things are looking good. In the next video, we'll put the little widget on.